Hi, so I want to show you tips and tricks on how to organize your start menu. So I'm going to go into my start menu here and I'm going to show you how it's a little bit cluttered. For example, when I installed Microsoft Office here, it just installed every individual icon like right at the uh, you know start menu. So it's a little bit cluttered here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the folders of the start menu. So for example, there is two system folders and I'm going to go into Explorer and I'm going to type in app data. So where this is going to go with percent app data percent is the system folder for my personal start menu. So you'll notice here it's going to go into where my personal data is and I'm going to go into Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, and you'll notice this is a partial list of the start menu. The other folder is the folder for everyone. So your start menu items are stored in both of these folders split, one for everyone on the device and laptop computer, and the other one is your own personalized start menu. So they are combined into one start menu, and I am going to type in here the area where the general data for the start menu is, and that would be C colon program data. I'm going to hit enter go into Microsoft, scroll down, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, and you'll see this is a majority of where my Start Menu is. So you'll see all of these Microsoft Office icons, and what this is is this list right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put these and organize it in folders to make it less cluttered and to collapse it a little bit better. So I'm going to say right click and say New Folder and I'm going to say Microsoft Office 2010 and I'm going to click yes for creating a folder and it's that folder here and I'm going to drag these individual icons in there to organize a little bit better and you'll notice right away it's a little bit more organized and let's check it out on the list here and you'll notice it collapsed right away and you'll notice here it is all in this one folder that I could expand and contract and I might want to further do this for other files so for example some of my programming utilities I might want to again organize it once again creating a folder called programming and you'll notice now I've further collapsed a lot of these items. Now there is these other areas such as recently added and most used. So the way you change that if you don't want that displayed is on your taskbar right click go to settings and notice under settings there is a start icon here. I'm gonna click start and I'm gonna say you know don't show the most used. So right here recently added and most used so I am gonna get rid of both the recently added and the most used and you'll notice if I go back now it's a little bit cleaner I don't have to scroll all the way now if I want to do some further cleanup I can but those are the two ways that you can organize your folder so for example even with this your own list of start menu items you could collapse it into both of these folders and some of them you can some of them you can't because of the for example because of the uh, permissions so I'm gonna create a utilities folder here and I am gonna try to put all of this into utilities and this also and you'll notice there are items here that I might also want so I'm gonna cut this and put it here so you could switch back and forth if it allows you to do it some of these you can't so for example that one it allowed me to do and this particular one if I cut and paste it so this lets me partially do it 
try again. Okay, so I'm going to skip that. And I'm going to go into my start menu and see, go to the W. So it did collapse this, as you noticed, into utilities. And so that, again, is a little bit more organized. So my start menu is a little bit more compact. And you could further do it with a bunch of these other icons. But that's really it. That is the typical way you can organize your start menu here. And I hope this tip helped, and thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe if uh, you found this helpful. And thank you for watching again.